name is Andrew Gould. Um, I was a judge for over 20 years. I'm here today to speak to the kids and just teach them a little bit about the basics of the courts and how a trial runs. And so I need each of you to play a role. We're going to have a judge, we're going to have a prosecutor, a defense attorney, and we're going to have witnesses. Your sister over there, you're trying to blame it on her. So think, be creative, think of whatever you can, what you saw. But what you can't testify to is you can't say you actually saw her feeding the cat. The kids always, when I've done this before, they start to pick up on it more and more as it goes on. And so the witnesses get more and more interesting, start to kind of get into their character a little bit. He is very suspicious that mom said that she was going to the bathroom when the friends tried to bring it. But apparently now she was buying a rug. Well, she had just ordered the rug. I very much like McDonald's. <laughs> and do you, do you know if there's any cat food at McDonald's French fries? No, McDonald's makes our cat have diarrhea. <laughs> We're learning very busy. Taking a shower. <laughs> Taking a shower at lunch? Taking a shower at lunch? Who knows, there might be a future lawyer in there someday. So I just want it to be a positive experience and, and have them understand you know, what the courts do a little bit. You know, it's kind of a case that you, you build off of, of, of a very basic fact pattern of circumstantial evidence. So you know a crime's been committed, you have circumstantial evidence that it was committed, but you don't have direct evidence. You don't have somebody who actually saw it, and you don't have somebody admit to it. Yes, it's true. So the jury, the kids have to kind of figure out, is there enough circumstantial evidence to conclude the defendant is guilty or, or not? So we need to find out, this young man over here feed the cat the french fries or not? We're going to get a vote at the end to see if you think this young man is guilty or not guilty of breaking mom and dad's rules. I pronounce the order guilty. First punishment. He has to change the cat litter for a week. Second punishment, he has to take out the trash for a week. Or a third punishment, he has to eat cat food for a week. I have made my decision. He has to eat cat food for a week. And it's interesting because when you listen to their comments, it's a lot about the demeanor and the way somebody testifies which is true to form for a court. It's, it's much how a person says it is what they say. I think he was guilty because he was crossing his arm. Yeah. Oh. I think that child number one ate the French fries. Why do you think that? Because I found other people's stories more believable. All right, thank you guys.